All right, so the basic idea algebraically to determine if a function is even or odd is just to plug in f of negative x. Okay. Now, when we plug in f of negative x, we're going to have to simplify this. So I don't want you to look at any numbers right now. I just want you to plug in negative x and just try to see if you can determine. So when we do this, negative x squared is x squared. Nothing happened to the 3. Negative x to the 4th is still just going to be x to the 4th. Do you guys see how I got back the original equation? OK. So this is what we call an even function. The reason being, the definition of an e of a even function is when you plug in f of negative x, you get back the original equation. Now I might say, OK, well, now I have to memorize that. That's like another thing to memorize. But hold on. Let's think about this from a graphical approach. This is a even function because it's quadratic, and we know that's symmetrical about the y-axis. Would you guys agree with me? That's an example of an even function. So let's pretend x is right here. x squared, right? So therefore, you get some f of x value. Let's just, for if you guys want to use 2 for an example, that's fine. So 2 squared is equal to? Yeah, but 2 squared would be 4, right? And then what about if I did negative 2? is equal to 4. Do you guys see how they both share the same values? right? So f of x is equal to f of negative x. f of negative 2 is equal to f of 2. right? So you guys can see how this graphically and algebraically are they're related. So anytime you plug in negative x and you get back the original equation, you have an even function. You don't need to know what the graph looks like. You just need to know if you plug in negative x and you get back the original equation, it is even.